Hello, this is Dr. Golligly narrating an animated demonstration of a direct anterior minimally invasive total lip arthroplasty. The incision is made with the patient lying flat on their back, is 8 centimeters in length, and avoids these anatomic structures that are pointed out in the course of the animation. Once the incision is made, soft tissue retractors are placed in front of and behind the femoral neck, facilitating exposure of the hip joint. A scalpel is used to create a release of the capsule, opening the joint, and exposing the femoral head and the acetabulum. Here, a sharp pointed retractor is placed on the anterior lip of the acetabulum, facilitating removal of the remaining bone spurs around the edge of the acetabulum and the diseased acetabular labrum. At this stage, the hip can either be resected in place or it can be dislocated prior to making a femoral neck cut. In this animation, we demonstrate dislocation of the hip prior to making the femoral neck cut. Once the head and neck have been appropriately exposed, the capsular release is completed and an oscillating saw is brought into the surgical field in order to remove the diseased and arthritic femoral head. Here is an illustration of the oscillating saw making the neck cut in the proximal portion of the femur. The power corkscrew in the femoral head is then used to lever the femoral head out of the acetabulum. Soft tissue retractors are now placed about the acetabulum to facilitate acetabular exposure in preparation for acetabular reaming. In this step, an acetabular reamer is brought into the acetabular socket and the remaining of the diseased osteoarthritic cartilage is removed prior to pressing in place the acetabular component which grows solidly into the bone. A plastic bearing shell is snapped inside the acetabulum. The hip is then exposed by flexing the table and placing soft tissue retractors about the proximal portion of the femur, facilitating exposure of the proximal portion of the femur in preparation for femoral broaching. The soft tissues at the superior corner of the exposed femoral neck are released and a rondure is used to remove any remaining residual neck. A series of cutting brooches are then impacted down the length of the femoral canal, preparing the femoral canal for final implant insertion. Once the final brooch is in place, trial components are assembled on top of the femoral brooch and the hip is put back in the socket, a process that we call reduction in order to trial the fit of the components. At this stage of the operation, when using the direct anterior minimally invasive approach, it is also possible to examine the hip under fluoroscopy to make sure that the limb lengths are appropriately reconstructed and that the fit of the components within the anatomic landmarks of the acetabulum and the femur is appropriate. At this stage of the operation, we check to make sure that the final fit and fill of all the components is appropriate, the trial components are exchanged for the final implants, and the hip is reduced and the incision closed up.